Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and I'm here today presenting for Taylor May Cards for You. Um, this is my second post for September. It's kind of uh, the digital kit this month is a uh, school themed kit. So again, just kind of showing again the uh, pieces that come in the kit that you print out. And I always print mine on cream paper just because again, I'm kind of looking for that antique, um, you know, older, older book type type look. So, um, you know, again, these are kind of some of the pieces that that I have to use for this particular one. So this is the first card that I'm going to do, and it's kind of a oh, geographic um, type of card. So the first thing I did was I used uh, double-sided tape, and I um, put it, added it to a A2 size um, craft card base. And so I'm just kind of trimming it out and use a piece of Tim Holtz's map collage paper. So again, I really like working with this stuff. It's just, um, you know, it's just easy to work with. And, um, you know, once you get the backing off, then you can attach the collage paper right on. And I always kind of make sure that I get it on there with some wrinkles, you know, again, not, not perfect, but you could also use collage medium to put it on, but I find the double sided, um, adhesive just works, works just as well. So I'm trimming it down here and I'm going to grab my guillotine cutter and, you know, trim off the extra extra pieces here. So I'm going to make sure they're all all nice and nice and neatly neatly cut. <laughs> there we go and you can see I've got map I think it's Greenland on there if I'm not mistaken but um, you know so again I've got my my base piece that I'll then put on a craft card base and so I'm pulling some of the extra extra pieces from the kit. This is uh, training for citizenship that I just added on there. And then I have these two school photos of the two young ladies. And I have the world um, die cut. That's a, um, a Sizzix Tim Holtz die cut. And I ended up embossing it kind of with a copper and green um, embossing powder. I just kind of like it. It gives it an old coppery type look. And then the, um, the pieces there are Tim Holtz flashcards from Ideology. So I've, I've had those in my stash for quite a while, and I thought, well, with the maps and everything else, we'll put Wander and Travel on there. That'd be just perfect. So and I aged those by ink smooshing them. So there's that map that I was talking a little bit about. I really like the, uh, the copper and the blue, um, or teal, I guess it is. So then I'm going to add my one young lady there, and then we'll add the other one here in the other corner. And then I just need to really, you know, trim it down. Um, so I'll get the last, last word on here, and then we'll go ahead and again grab my large Fiskar scissors and cut off the extra, extra pieces here. And there is my first card. So here's my second card. This one I, I had a lot of fun with, I have to admit. Um, you know, I saw the little ideology um, paper dolls and, um, you know, just kind of really started to work around that. And so I'm going to use that ruler background as the base for my card. And then that document up there was a... Um, it was just a piece of ephemera I had in my stash, but I thought with the red and the... Um, cream colored it matched really well and what I did was crumple it up quite a bit and then ran my um, vintage photo ink over it to give it kind of that that antique look and then I roughed the edges up with the edge of my scissors um, you know to kind of give it again more of that antique -y look um, the ABC there is from some Tim Holtz flashcards again and um, what I ended up doing was just cutting them in half. They actually had, you know, A's on both sides, B's on both sides. So I just, I only wanted one of them. So I just kind of, I cut them and uh, ink smooshed them and crushed them up and to make them look old. And then this blackboard came out of, off of one of the tags. I just trimmed it down. I fussy cut it down and am using it here. And then I'm going to add uh, foam tape to the back of my little paper dolls here to pop them up. So I'm just kind of finishing adding all of the all of the foam tape. You have to kind of cut it down. I wanted to make sure you really couldn't see it from the front. 
I did use distress crayons on these paper dolls and kind of colored their suits a little bit and um, their hair and their face. Always like using the distress crayons. It's just kind of fun. And then I have this book here, which is Common Words Difficult to Spell, and it's a um, it's that uh, front. Um, or it's another uh, another digital um, printout that I that I have. So I'm going to add that on there, and then I'm going to add my my children on there. And then I got to thinking, okay, I've got this blackboard here. I wonder what I can do with that. And you know, with the um, the difficult to spell book, I thought, all right, I need to do something fun. Um, so I'll show you in just a minute what I did. There you go. I ended up um, writing the word apple there, but of course it's misspelled. I just thought that was, uh, I thought that was pretty cute. So again, um, you know, here's the view of that card again, and here is the other travel card that I did. So again, I hope you enjoyed my school-themed cards. It's Terry with Terry's Mailbox presenting for the, for um, tailor-made cards for you. And again, I'm on Instagram blogger, Facebook, and YouTube. I'd love to have you come subscribe and follow. Have a great day.